In my video where I discussed who the main villains of each show are going to be this season, I deduced, deduced that the main villains for Legend of Tomorrow Season 3 will be the Secret Society. That's not what they're officially named yet, but that's what I'm naming them. But who will be on the team? Let's find out. The first member and who I think will be the leader of the team is Damien Dark. Damien will somehow be resurrected from Arrow Season 4, he's going to have his magical powers back, and he will be very ruthless. The second member is Gorilla Grodd. Gorilla Grodd is supposed to be a lot smarter and a lot more advanced than the last time we saw him on The Flash, which was, I think, Attack on Central City. Yeah. So, since he's smarter and more advanced, I'm assuming he's from the future. Or a future, like a possible one. Gorilla Grodd was actually the leader of the Secret Society on Justice League and also in Injustice 2. The third member, and the last one that I know for sure, will be Kawase from Vixen. She actually died, spoiler alert, in Vixen Season 2. So I don't know whether she'll be resurrected or brought back from the past or something. But somehow, someway, she will be on the show. I also don't know what her superpowers will be. I'm assuming she'll be using one of the totems of, of Sambese. And since she used the water totem in Vixen Season 2, she'll probably have the same totem in Legends. So, those are the three members that we know for sure are going to be on the team. But, who are some characters that I think should be on the team? The first one is Killer Frost. I really want Killer Frost to join the Sacred Society. I know she's on the Flash, and it seems like she's back to being a good guy in the Flash Season 4 trailer. But, I would much prefer it if she was a villain, and it would be really cool if, if she was a villain, if she joined the Secret Society and became one of the main villains of Legends of Tomorrow this season. Plus, Killer Frost was actually on the first incarnation of the Secret Society in Justice League, the TV show. Other villains that were on the Secret Society in Justice League and are also in the Arrowverse are Parasite and Shade, but I don't think those versions, like the Arrowverse versions of those characters, would work on this version of the Secret Society. Plus, they're both CGI and they already have Grodd, so I don't think they'll be able to afford that. Now we get to the part that the main point of the title is about. So... Black Adam. The reason I think he might join the team is because the newest addition to the Legends, and that's Adriana Tomas. Her connection to Black Adam is very direct. She is his wife. If DC gave Legends permission to use Adriana, then maybe they give them permission to use the entire Shazam universe. So obviously that includes Black Adam. But if I had to bet whether or not they're going to use Black Adam or Shazam, I wouldn't bet on it, but I still think it's a big possibility. In the Arrow 2.5 comics, a character named Teth Adam was in there. And in the comics, in the DC action, in mainstream comics, and Black Adam, another name for Black Adam is Teth Adam. So Black Adam technically has been in the Arrowverse before, and Kondok has been referenced multiple times. So it's very, very possible that Black Adam will appear this season. But just remember, this is speculation, so don't go spreading a rumor that Black Adam... Actually, it's, a, it, it's just a rumor, but don't go like telling people that Black Adam will definitely be on Legends, because this is just speculation. So anyway, that's my ultimate secret society. Damien Dark, Grodd, Kawase, Killer Frost, and Black Adam. What about you? What's your ultimate secret society? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.